Is standing to pee actually bad for you? Have you been doing it wrong all this time? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and in this video, we're gonna talk about if you should sit or stand to urinate. So recently, a data analytics firm surveyed over 7,000 men from 13 different countries, and they asked them, where in the world do men sit down to we? In the US, just 10% of men said they always sat down to pee, while 31% said they never sit down, and 17% said they rarely do. And this was pretty similar in both younger and older men. But in Germany, which was the highest rate of sitting, 40% of men sat every time they urinated, and older men were even more likely to sit when they pee. So I remember in one of my videos, I said as a recommendation, sit down, stand up, walk around, sit back down to pee again, and people came at me. They were like, we don't sit, who sits to pee? Well, there you have it. There are people who sit to pee. So let's get into it. Is it actually better for you to sit or stand when you're urinating? So in order to answer this question, you want to know what exactly happens when you sit. So we know that generally speaking, your pelvic floor is more relaxed when you're sitting down. And when you're standing, you often recruit some of that pelvic floor musculature just for postural reasons. So when you need to urinate, that pelvic floor actually needs to relax in order to allow urine to pass through the urethra. Oftentimes I will see people who have what's called a high tone pelvic floor and they actually have difficulty urinating and there's no other reason for it except for the fact their muscles are really tense. I talk about this a lot because I see it a lot. I think it's particularly underdiagnosed in men where people have stress and anxiety and they carry it in their body. For some people, they carry it in their jaw when they get TMJ and they wake up with headaches and jaw pain, but in some people, they carry it in their pelvis and they get pain when they sit, pain when they have erections, pain when they ejaculate, difficulty urinating, or sometimes urinating more frequently or more urgently. But I digress. The question here was, is sitting better? So based on that fact, sitting would be probably better in general, just based on that fact alone. But the other thing very specific for men is that after the age of 50, about half of men develop what's called BPH or benign prosthetic hyperplasia. And that just means that your prostate enlarges. And many people have this problem. In fact, up to by the time they're 80, about 80% of men have this problem. And it makes it more difficult to urinate because as the prostate enlarges, it narrows the pee tube where your urine comes out of. And so it's like almost thinking about sucking a straw, right? If you're drinking out of a bubble tea cup that has a really big straw, the flow is really fast. But when you say you took a coffee straw and tried to drink out of that, it would be nearly impossible. So similarly, when your prostate enlarges, it becomes more and more difficult to get urine to flow past the prostate. And you might notice this with symptoms such as having to strain when you urinate, having to wait for your stream to start or your stream kind of starts and stops. Some people will dribble after they pee or it will take just a long time to empty their bladder. And also you may notice a weak stream. And if you think about it, when you're dribbling urine or having a weak stream, it can be kind of difficult to stand and aim the urine in the actual toilet. So sitting can be more convenient for hygiene purposes. Okay, but these are all theories. And if you know me and you've been watching me, you know by now, I love to tell you what the data says. So there's one study that looked at men who had BPH and those who did not have it. And they found that in particular, men with BPH had higher flow rates, meaning that their urine flow was faster and they had a higher voided volume, meaning that they peed more when they did actually urinate and they left less urine behind in their bladder, or what we call a lower post void residual, when they sat compared to when they were standing. This was not the same for men who didn't have BPH. So based on this and the things we know about sitting, if you're struggling with urinary symptoms or you're older than 50 and are concerned about BPH, it may be a good idea. But you may be wondering, if you're not having symptoms, why do some men actually sit? So another study surveyed nearly 200 US men, and of those, 18% preferred to sit. 
Of those men who did sit, they were more likely to have urinary symptoms and be bothered by those symptoms. It's one thing to have the symptoms and not really let them bother you. Other people had physical limitations that made them sit, like they had recent surgery, back pain, arthritis, and then had a lower desire to stand compared to men who actually stood. Of the men who liked to stand, a lot of them reported that it was really important for them to actually pee in a standing position. Other popular reasons for sitting were to try to avoid a mess associated with standing. If they preferred to sit at nighttime, and sitting feeling just generally more comfortable than standing or trying to get a better urinary flow and reading or using the phone. I do not recommend reading or using the phone on the toilet because you'll spend too much time on the toilet and potentially put you at risk for other issues like hemorrhoids or things like that. So what's my takeaway? If you don't have any symptoms and you prefer to urinate standing, it's probably not a problem. But at the same time, if you like to sit or if you sit because you have issues like urinary symptoms, again, Again, totally nothing wrong with it. In fact, you might be helping yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. And if you like this video, make sure to check out my video on urinary dribbling because I think it's super useful and helpful for so many people. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.